you bet. We have, uh, of course, been involved in mining. We have the Mine Tour here, which is one of the only ones in the United States where we actually, uh, you're able to go underground into the actual copper mine. And uh, we had both open pit and underground mining here. And so uh, about 900 feet down and 1,600 feet. So we're talking about 300 meters down uh, in depth and five, almost 600 meters uh, in length. Then we have, of course, the mining museum which is a very famous uh, museum. It has to do with the history of Bisbee and the history of mining in Bisbee, as well as Cananea is mentioned, of course, because our cities are so close together and the mining industry, of course, in Cananea and Bisbee were basically sister organizations. And then, of course, we have our downtown shopping. And Bisbee is, is really fairly famous for its uh, art and its culture. We have many art galleries and uh, some very good restaurants also. Tourism is very important to us and of course that is something that uh, I've been looking at to try to strengthen the tourism between Sonora and between Bisbee. So many people come through Naco to go to Tucson and Phoenix not realizing that they can stop and they can have good food, they can have a place to stay, uh, many, many things, and it's much cooler in temperature than in uh, Tucson or Phoenix. We, of course, have had a lot of, of trade from Mexico throughout the years, uh, but now we're actually actively seeking that trade. And so our, our downtown people are we are working with the uh, Tucson Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. In the very near future, there should be stickers in the windows saying, uh, Si hable espanol, much like they do in Cananea now. There's many shops. There are uh, shop owners that are speaking English. And so we hope to get that uh, between the two cities. First of all, on the federal level, uh, as, I've, as I've indicated, one of the first things I did as mayor was I issued a proclamation to the Mexican consulate to the mayors of, uh, Cananeo was invited, to the mayors of Naco, Agua Prieta, uh, and so forth, uh, as well as the council, like I said, to let the people know that you are welcome, that we, not just for tourism, but we're brothers and sisters. We, co we share a common culture, we share a common territory, um, and that President Nito and President uh, Trump can talk all they want to about these things, but people on our level is where these problems are solved. And so I don't want people in Mexico to think that Bisbee uh, has that type of an attitude. Our population is very heavily Hispanic, and uh, we welcome our visitors from south of the border, and we want to establish even greater uh, ties. Cananea has so many things that we want to uh, that we're working on right now with Cananea for uh, day trips, for events to be held in Bisbee one day and then in Cananea the next day so that there is a cross-border and both cities uh, are able to benefit from the tourism. Uh, our city is opened. We are, you are welcome. Our city is quite diverse. We're very uh, inclusive, meaning that we, we want to invite everybody here to everybody to have a good time and to be able to come feel safe. Really no crime in, in Bisbee. Um, and, and so everybody is safe to come and have a good time. Yes, um, it was founded, of course, um, at the turn of this 19th, at the 20th century. So it was founded in, you know, 1900 area. And of course it was a gold mine originally, yeah. And then silver, <laughs> and then came copper, much like every place else, you know. The deeper you go, the more you find, right? There were several mines here. There was the Phelps Dodge Corporation. We ended up buying those several mines. So the first ones were the Calumut, Arizona mine and the Copper Queen mine. And those are the ones that were really the biggest. Uh, and then Phelps Dodge bought those and Phelps Dodge kept them for many, many years. They closed the mine down in about 1975. And at that point, Bisbee was a big city, and then it got very small. It went from 
way over 20,000 people to right now we have 5,400 people. Well, we are um, really attempting to get more lo more of our locals to visit Kananea. I love the city. It's a beautiful city. I love to go there and to uh, drive around, and uh, you have some really good restaurants also. Yeah. And uh, so I, I, I want our people to understand that. But there's so much history between the two cities. Green, famous in Kananea, his wife is buried in our cemetery here. Uh, his first wife, yes. Uh, there's so much history that uh, you can enjoy here and we can enjoy in Kananea because we truly are, are just, we're only separated by, what, 40, 50 kilometers. Yes, of course, I want to grow the economy here. It's very important, uh, as it is everywhere. Um, although you have many advantages, now you have the vineyards, which is going to be a very big thing for Kananea. Uh, and we're going to set up wine tours down the road to Cananea for your vineyards. But um, I want to develop an art and culture district here. And so what that means is we'll be bringing more artists in and more cultural activities. I'd like us to become the art and culture area for the southern part of Arizona. And of course then that will include many people from northern Mexico to uh, come in and help enjoy that also. You know, Bisbee is in three major parts. You, you right now are in the part that's called Warren, and uh, Warren is a very old area, what was called a master planned community. There were three of them in the United States originally, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Maryland, and Warren, Arizona, in which everything was laid out, all the streets were laid out before things were built. Uh, so that's called a master plan community. So it's, it's very old. Old Town Bisbee, we call it, which is what most people come to visit, yeah. is an area that is very much like Europe. People look at Old Town Bisbee and they think, this looks like Europe because of the architecture and because of the hills. And You have a number of hills and so forth in Cananea also, but ours are, Bisbee's built in a canyon, you know, Tombstone Canyon and uh, Zacatecas Canyon. Oh, yes. See, that's the part of the charm, is that it's down inside these canyons instead of built up looking down into the canyons. So, uh, th you know, those are, those are the, the, the things that people want to come and, and see. Um, and that's part of the charm is because it reminds so many people of old world rather than the new world. Again, I think that one of the most important thing for our for our visitors from Mexico is that so many of the reasons that they go to Phoenix and Tucson are right here, that they don't have to go any further. You know, now if they want to go to a big shopping center or something, then obviously. But many people just want to get away for a weekend and have a place to stay, a hotel, um, and have a, have a place to walk around and explore. We have all of that. We have bike trails. We have hiking trails. We have all of these kind of outdoor activities also. And so this is a place to uh, think about coming for a weekend instead of that long drive. You're very welcome. My pleasure.